Hello, my name is Gabe, and Supernatural is great. Awful. Well, this is awkward. I was talking to a friend about Supernatural, and it seems I was so torn between whether I loved or hated the show that I literally split into two. I think the only way to fix this is to talk about it until I get my thoughts straight. I should confess, I never actually watched the final season of the show. Which I think is telling enough of our opinion. We hated the show so much, we never even bothered to finish watching it. Also, if you care, there will be some spoilers to Supernatural. I disagree, but to get to the point, let's talk about the premise of the show. The show is about the Winchester brothers who travel around America fighting monsters. And some complicated plot stuff happens. Let's talk about characters. The show has a huge cast of characters with a variety of personality traits and complicated or not motivations for why they do what they do. It's always exciting when this cast shows up. Until the show decide to unceremoniously and ruthlessly kill them all off. It's almost impossible to convey how bad this show is at keeping its recurring characters alive. While the Winchesters get to come back to life once a year, I have a rule about killing off characters. It's okay to do it, but if I can count on it happening, it loses shock value. Early on, the Winchester's father died. I was genuinely upset and shocked by it. Later on, oh, the, their friend Charlie, who they met a few seasons ago, one or two seasons ago, died? Well, I'll be honest, this happens so often that I never even bothered to connect to this character because I figured she was dead anyways. Do you see my point? It's great if you have a large cast of characters, only if that cast list isn't a hit list. Because after the seventh dead character, I stop trying to care. Now let's talk about the plot. And don't worry, this will be quick, because after the fourth season, which is the original intended end of the series, it's the same every year. And it goes like this. A Winchester is revived from the dead. They go and meet their brother, who they are in some way shocked by their behavior in the time they've been dead. They go in their humpala and, and hunt some monsters. They find out about the big bad and whatever the thing they're fighting this year is. They get into a fight for no good reason. They make up. They go and fight the big bad. And the other brother dies. And it repeats like this every single year. Look, the first four seasons are a decent story, with a good beginning and middle and end. However, you don't watch Supernatural for its story. You watch it for surprisingly fun and ridiculous concepts. You won't see anywhere else. Every year they have one ridiculous meta silly episode. From crossing over to our world, to dealing with imaginary friends, and even crossing over with Scooby-Doo, of all things. And even when it isn't absolutely off the walls ridiculous, the standalone episodes can be fun in of themselves. Unless, of course, they're backdoor pilots. Hey look, a Supernatural spinoff could have totally worked. If only they didn't keep trying to force it. Look, I'm not anti-spinoff, but I am of the firm belief that a backdoor pilot is always a bad idea. I think it kind of ruins the point, especially the way Supernatural handled it. When, when it comes to a spin-off, people either want to see familiar characters in a new situation, or new characters in the same world with the same rules. Either way, the show needs to have a different feel to it, and be something we couldn't see with the previous show. Supernatural was dark and gloomy 90% of the time, so I think a spin-off should have gone a completely new direction. You know what? Hold that thought. I think I'm going to make a video on that point in its own self in the near future. The point being, Supernatural kept trying to introduce new characters in a world that works completely different than we're used to in episodes of Supernatural, and it was annoying and wasted everybody's time. With that rant over, I'm one person again. I guess that means I got my opinion straight. Okay. Okay, I think what it boils down to is there were things Supernatural was great at and things it utterly sucked at. Telling a story was never the show's strong point, and that only became more and more obvious as the show went on. 
It was at its best when they fought a new monster and had to figure out how to take it down. No, it was at its best when they did these utterly goofy things. But when they tried to connect everything and have an ongoing story, it just became completely and utterly boring. That's it for this time. If you liked this video, leave it a like. If you want to see more like it, do subscribe. But more important than any of that, have a good night.